Locked in. It's been things like their mega hits, Pontoon, Girl, Crush, Better Man, that have earned them over 20 music awards, industry awards, Grammys, CMAs, ACMs. Earlier this year, Little Big Town made history by launching the Ryman Auditorium's first ever year-long artist in residency at the 125-year-old Ryman Auditorium. Sally referenced that a moment ago. Here to present Little Big Town star is a musician who's been personal friends with them. Well, as a matter of fact, he gave them a break, a chance to be a supporting act on his tour a little over a decade ago. It was his 2006 Still Alive tour. Some of you may be wearing one of those t-shirts from that tour stop today. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming fellow Walk of Fame inductee, Keith Urban. We're at the Music City Walk of Fame induction. Keith Urban is about to induct the Thank big you very much. Town. Thank you, David. Sweet. <laughs> this, is a, this is a real honor for me. Um, gosh, I'm glad we're carrying this one and not the real one out there. Uh, yeah, I've known these guys a long time. I was trying to think the first time I met Little Big Town, and the thing about Little Big Town, I think many people that know them would testify to, I don't recall meeting them, they just appeared like, it's like trying to remember when a dream starts. They just suddenly are in your life and you couldn't remember a time when they weren't and for me that's how Little Big Town feels to me. As people and as, as musicians, boondocks just came through the speakers and became part of my psyche in such a way that I felt like it had been around for 20 years. It's one of those songs, but it was also one of those sounds and I was fascinated to meet the people who made that sound. And I realized what it was is that it's the closest thing to a family band that are not related you'll ever meet. It's that sound that's not connected by blood or by last name or any, or birth, well, in the case of Jimmy and Karen, now it is, but <laughs> there's no connection except the spirit. That's what I feel when I hear Little Big Town is the spirit. That's what is, makes them family, that's what makes them connected and what, it's what makes somebody like me feel their music immediately when they sing to me. Uh, as people, I think it's, it's just, they're the finest people. Uh, and one of the things I love about them is their willingness to be a part of so many uh, events and, and situations that require people showing up, you know, it's the, it's the greatest thing you can give any, any cause is your time and Little Big Town is always there helping people out. Um, just this morning, of course, we were at Troy's uh, ceremony, it was beautiful and Little Big Town came out and played and uh, it's just a, it's, it's a rare thing in our industry that somebody uh, like Little Big Town can come along and be all that you hope and believe they would be as people when you meet them. That's what they're like, they're family. And uh, I see Steven's out there somewhere and Rebecca's out there somewhere. It's, it's very much a family. And Jimmy, I'm now used to seeing in the school line, <laughs> waiting to pick up our kids at the same time. I, I see him through the passenger window, I'm like, morning, Jimmy, yeah, morning, Keith. Um, it's beautiful, it's communal, and for me, it's one of the things that's always been the center of country music, that no matter where you come from, the one thing it is absolutely about is it's about community. And Little Big Town exemplifies that. The name alone is perfect. It's perfect. And that's what Nashville is too. Nashville's a little big town. It's always been that. It's got this town spirit, but it's blossoming, seriously blossoming. How much traffic has we got in this crazy? <laughs> But it's got this communal spirit, and it's evident here today. And I want to send a shout out to all the LBT fans out this side and out there who traveled far and wide to be here. And honor, honor these guys and girls today. Um, it really is a beautiful honor for me to be able to get to uh, induct them. Beautiful people, beautiful souls, beautiful spirits, and uh, so deserving of this today to be the newest inductees into the Music City Walk of Fame, Little Big Town. Woo! 
Sorry, I had to. Just so you know, Jimmy does that all the time. He's the band prankster. extended family, our, our sandbox team, the amazing group of people that just, you know, make this whole thing work every day and take the phone calls and, and, and grow this thing. And, you know, it, it is a family. We started small together with Bobby and Jason, and now there's Kelly and Katie and Leslie and Wyatt and Todd, and I'm going to miss somebody, but the company has grown too. We've grown together and I think back to, you know, when we first got that tour with Keith, that was a really marked moment for this band because we had just had this new music we had made on a little in independent label and we made Boondocks and the drummer that played with us, Chris McHugh, on the track, he was playing drums for Keith and he, he gave this music to Keith and said, man, you got to check this out. And Keith listened and Keith said, we got to have him on tour. And that changed our lives. It literally changed our momentum. <laughs> It's a testament to Keith, and he is always in that place where he's inspired, and he stays inspired, and we're inspired by him, and, you know, we, we always have that commonality between us, and I think Keith has always continued to be that artist that keeps his ears open and his heart open, and he's changed many more artists' lives besides our own, and, uh, but I just, I can't say enough about our wonderful team and our families and the love that we have seen to, to make you know, to get to this point where you can have a, a walk on, a star on the walk of fame here, it's like, it takes a long time and a lot of work to get to that place. And it, it was a wonderful journey, and it's still just continuing to get better and better. So, next. <laughs> Thank you. I just want to talk about this town. First of all, hey, Mama. Mom, I want to say thank you to you and my family that, um, and all of us feel this way, who stood behind us for so long when, uh, when you're laughing at me because I'm crying. Uh, Elijah's laughing at me because I'm crying. Um, I love y'all, and it, without you alls support, we wouldn't be here. Um, you, you kept us through the lean years and believed and kept building us up, and you built us up as kids, and, and we felt like we could go out and do anything. And, you know, this town, Nashville, I love it so much. And... Uh, you know, when you come from a little town, you hold on to these things and these treasures that you have growing up, and it's rare that you find another place that feels like home like that does, but Nashville feels that way to me, and it feels that way to us. We love this town and the people, and we've talked about the community over and over, but it's such a beautiful place to be with such a beautiful spirit, and, and the people that have helped us all along the way, and the friends that we, we have so many friendships here. And it's because of you guys that we get these special things, things like this that you never dream up. 
um, to have a star on the Walk of Fame in Nashville. Who would ever thought of that? That's um, just unbelievable. But I'm so appreciative, and I would just want to thank this town for embracing us. And over and over again, when we play these shows at the Ryman, we feel it over and over again, the embrace of this town. And it's just such a beautiful thing to be a part of, and it's, I'm so grateful for all of that. And, and all of our team, we love you so much. And I just want to say thank you to Nashville for your beautiful spirit that continues to grow. And thank you all. I'll be super quick. Um, to the fans, uh, thank you for, hey, y'all. Uh, thanks for coming to the shows. Um, all these years. In the beginning, there was just a handful of y'all, and some of y'all are here today, I know, that handful. They're right over there. Um, and for all the new fans that we've had the pleasure of meeting over the last 18 years, it's hard to believe. Um, just thank you from the bottom of our hearts. The greatest gift, I think, is to get to do something that you love and make a living at it, and that's a real real hard thing to do these days so we don't we don't take that for granted that we get to make music and art and um, and we get to do it every day and we're not nearly finished so I hope this walk of fame isn't like a send-off to retirement or something. <laughs> um, and because in, in many ways we just feel like we're getting started so um, thank you to the fans also um, I'm excited to see over the next 10 years who we might get to hand this plaque to. So for all the dreamers out there, the songwriters that haven't gotten a cut yet, the artist that can't get a break, the artist who car doesn't start in the rain like mine didn't back in the day, um, or didn't have a car, Philip. We, I mean, we were so, we knew we made it when car, Philip got a car. We, we could stop picking him up everywhere. It was like a morning ritual of uh, who's picking Philip up. But you know what, we were driving these same streets and now we're here with you guys and so it really can happen. You just have to believe, you gotta, you gotta have faith and perseverance. And um, so this is for all the dreamers out there and um, we look forward to standing up here and handing this plaque to someone else. by a fellow opera member, Keith Urban, Little Big Town, and their star. And we also all the way are going to stop. So, I'm going to have this for a sec. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Metal, metal.